This is Good Morning San Diego. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom recently announced which groups will be the first to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in the state. Coming up, we'll hear from educator Mark Powell. He wrote an op-ed piece on why he feels teachers should be at the top of that list of vaccine receivers. If that's a proper terminology. Good Morning San Diego. We'll have that conversation in just a bit. Welcome back. Good morning, San Diego. Governor Gavin Newsom recently announced who will get priority when the COVID-19 vaccine is finally distributed. As of now, health care workers and first responders will be the first in line. Educator Mark Powell joins us now with his stance on that announcement and why he thinks teachers should also be at the top of the list. Good morning, Mr. Powell. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you, Paul? Are you coming to us as a, you're coming as a private citizen slash educator as for the purpose of this conversation, correct? That's correct. I'm, you know, I'm on the County Board of Education, but I also have 30 years experience as a classroom teacher, professor at university and school administrator. So I, I know a little bit about what I'm talking about today. And you recently wrote an op-ed saying teachers should be at the top of the list of recipients of the vaccine. Now, some would argue first responders and police We'll say firefighters and whatever. Well, they're hands on. Medical workers are hands on, where teachers right now are back uh, on the other side of a computer. Why should teachers jump the line as far as receiving the vaccine? Well, I can argue that without teachers getting back into the classroom, some polls have indicated that 15% of our workers cannot go back into the workforce because they're stuck at home teaching their children. They're doing daycare um, and taking care of their family, which is what they have to do. It's part of their responsibility. But unless you open up the schools, you're not going to get these um, other workers back in. So we'll never op fully open up our economy without having these teachers back in school. Teachers are of the, uh, I'm looking at the average age of teachers here in San Diego County, and it, they're not in the, in the demographic hardest hit by COVID-19. In fact, I see the uh, the picket lines or the people, teachers who don't want to go yeah. back in, and they're, they're all pretty young. And uh, I'm just curious, shouldn't the vaccine go to the people that are going to most in the kill zone as it relates to COVID-19? Well, it is. It's just that the teachers need to be prioritized along with the um, health care workers, the um, first responders and our elderly, elderly and people with compromised immune systems. But um, let's let's like take a look at this, okay? Teachers are offered the same protective gear that you give to grocery store clerks, janitors, um, people that work at uh, let's say Home Depots or Lowe's. Yet there's a lot of them that are afraid to go back in the classroom because they do not want to catch COVID-19. So they're refusing to go back into in-school teaching. Now, the ir irony of this is that students are not allowed to go to school unless they're immunized. So if your kid is um, wants to go to kindergarten, they have to have a litany of immunizations. So, you know, we're just asking the teachers, put them up front, and those that want to be immunized should be given the opportunity to be immunized first so we can get our kids back in school. So then how do you respond to Dr. Fauci who's saying kids should already be back in school, that they're not big transmitters of COVID-19, they don't carry the viral load that can affect adults? Respond. Well, many, many, many people already say that shutting schools down is not a way to prevent COVID-19. Most of the COVID-19 um, uh, spreads are being caused by families. They're from fa family members. So shutting schools down is a whole other topic. What I'm advocating for is that we urge the governor to prioritize teachers. So why wouldn't, if a teacher wants to teach, and there's a lot of teachers that want to teach back in the classroom, why should they not be allowed to take this vaccine? At first, we open our schools and we get our kids back in because you know, kids are suffering from depression, anxiety. We need to look at the mental health of our students and treat it as seriously as we treat their physical health. On that note, we'll call it a conversation, Mr. Mark Paul. As always, we are very appreciative of the fact that you make time for KUSI. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.